We are in DuPont Circle and we are playing chess. I'm losing. I think I'm losing here. <laughs> there are other parks in Washington, D.C. which have chess tables, but they don't attract near the kind of crowds or scene as this one. But generally speaking, this is the chess scene of Washington, D.C. is right here. Then you hung a piece and I got my piece back, so we were even again. <laughs> This is where chess happens. It is all walks of life. We meet people from all over the country. Tourists come through here all the time. Sometimes they play. People from all over the world. And then you have some people come through here who are millionaires and just love the game and love the thrill of it. Which makes for some interesting situations. Like some of the players here are homeless and they hustle for money. I will back, I going to the bank. A good player can make between 100 and 200 on a good day. I'm serious, it's gonna end up a draw. For a couple of people out here, it is their primary source of income. If a serious player comes here. For me, it's a relaxing day on a Saturday. Like a, a master level player comes here. Work week is over. He should be winning most of the games. I get to have fun, shoot off my mouth. There are a couple of players out here who, who make the master cut. Nobody gets hurt. Every now and then, they pay me for doing it. Tom is a master level player who is not now on the street, but who has been on the street. Check one time. He's a legendary character out here. He's been out here for years. Oh yeah, I guess I've lost money to Tom. Let's enter the dragon. Uh, Tom will go to the World Open in Philadelphia almost every year. See ya. He's a known figure. I mean, he's famous here. All right, Tomsky. He's known in Philly and New York. Nice to see you. How are you, sir? <laughs> but he's famous here, legendary here. Checks in the mail. People think of homeless people as individuals who are not particularly together mentally, for example, or don't have the kind of upbringing or culturalization that would enable them to play a good game of chess. Seeing all of the things that led to this. I think chess is a perfect illustration of how it's wrong to make sweeping judgments about people's intelligence. You never know who that might be in those rags and what, what they're capable of. There's very little correlation between a person's life circumstance and their ability to play a game of chess or their ability to think logically and critically, which chess obviously requires. It's almost a perfect game in a lot of ways. It's the ultimate game of life. It mirrors all aspects of life in every way. Chess punishes greediness. It's about the consequences of your actions, maintaining your position, initiative, evaluating what's most important at the moment. It's definitely an addictive drug. You need to play. You can't wait to get on a board with someone who can play. So there is a narcotic aspect to it. It's the safest drug there is, but a drug for sure. La, 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 la. Okay, but I'll probably just go straight, so we should be able to steal all day. Okay, are we straight? Yes. Let's go, boys. Go. The Gaithersburg baseball team is all about family this season. Together on three. One, two, three. Yeah. That's probably the reason they're winning. Take it away. Hey, drive down. Go, 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 go. But for the Trojans. There is bigger things in life. I love you. I want to go coach some baseball, okay? And there is other things besides winning and losing baseball games. Next pitch is your best pitch right here. Let's go. As a former player and now coach, Jeff Raberman feels the effects of a loss. Okay, battle with two strikes. If not, you're looking one pitch, one spot, get on top of it. Let's get ready to play some small ball. But no loss on the field can compare to the loss his family recently suffered. His daughter Madison was a miracle baby, surviving an emergency delivery she wasn't expected to live through. But her battle was just beginning. In her first 48 hours, she had four cardiac arrests. I spent the first 12 days with her, with her uh, by her bedside nonstop. Um, and seeing her fight the way that she did has inspired my life going forward. Madison was on a roller coaster ride and she would hang on for two months, but ultimately her weak heart would fail her. Shortly after receiving a cardiac catheterization, she passed away. She was tough as nails and I think everybody down at the hospital from the doctors and nurses fell in love with her. I mean, we had people coming by the room all the time. My wife and I were there constantly. Um, and she, she's affected so many people in the eight weeks that she had. On the day of Madison's funeral, baseball practice began at Gaithersburg High School. Coach Raberman took a week off before starting the healing process with his team. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, 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 oh. 
His Trojans rallied around him, dedicating their season to Madison. Every game, a jersey with her name and birthday hangs in the dugout. The players even wear heart disease awareness pins with her initials on their hats. My perception of life is just completely changed from what was before. I, I look at everything and I, I do it 100% because you never know what's going to happen and you don't want to have any regrets or anything. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yeah! Woo! For seven innings, Jeff can escape from his pain because his players have become his family. But Madison is never far from his mind or the baseball field. She's become the Trojans' angel in the outfield. Oh! So against Churchill, we were down by two runs and we got a rally going on and I was on second base and Nick Riley hit a pop up the center field. There's two outs, easy pop up. I ran hard because I'm supposed to and the center field dropped the ball and I scored and we won. So he picked up the jersey and said we won because of my daughter. When she was passing, we were sitting in the room and I said, you know Madison, <laughs> if there's second and third and it's the bottom and seventh and we're down to run, if you could help out, that'd be great. Um, it kind of added levity to the situation, and um, it's happened at least once this year, I can tell you that. And uh, it's something I'll never forget. but you love it. Go! We're united like a family. The roller derby saved my soul. Go, go, roller girl! Look at that girl roll! Roller derby saved my soul. Almost every day of the week you're doing something derby related. It's a huge commitment. It's kind of like having a second job. We don't get paid, but it's professional level. It's very real, very aggressive. It's really cool that it's all women. She got muscles in all the right places. She got tattoos, attitude, and sex. It is a game of strategy. Keep going, keep going. The object is you have a group of women on the track called the pack of blockers. You're in the pack and blocking. You're playing offense and defense at the same time. There are also two women that are in the back with a helmet that has a star on it, and they're called the jammer. Their object is to get through this pack, and for each opposing skater that they pass, they score a point. Like a wheel with nowhere to roll. Go, Scandal, go! I was hungry for a game that just eased my pain and put the fear a woman in my soul. The two jammers escape the pack at the same time the opposing jammer might try to reabsorb one of the other jammers back into the pack. Something we call eat the baby. It's not as violent as it used to be. I've been to the hospital twice. Broken ankles, concussions. I split my lip open. Broken fibulas. I got nine stitches. Torn ACL. Torn PCL. Teeth knocked out. I got a broken back. An elbow to the nose it bled for about four hours. They were thinking that they would have to cauterize it. They thought it was broken, but it's not. It finally stopped bleeding. I played with tampons up my nose. <laughs> it's a full contact sport. We have the x-rays to prove all of that. <laughs> we're gonna do sprint stop back and then we'll do hockey stops, okay? I think the thing about it that keeps me doing it is that there's always another chance. There's always another chance to do better. There's always a chance to change something and, and win. And it's exciting because there, I think there's something like over 70 people on our league. And there's always fresh blood coming in and new enthusiasm. This becomes our family. Thanks for coming, ladies. Thanks for coming. And we are a very tight unit, and we love each other, and we care about each other, and we will fight for each other. It's been an Aprilosec commercial, a Cheerios commercial, a Nike commercial. So getting into pop culture, even if it's just through 30 second commercials, I think is saying something about the popularity. And if ESPN2 can have curling on, they need to have our regional tournaments on. <laughs> ESPN2, get rid of curling, play roller derby. The whole thing is just awesome. It's been a lifesaver. It's girls hitting each other on skates, what's so not to love? Go, go, roller girl, look at that girl roll. Roller derby 
saved my soul. There's no other feeling in the world than being a fireman. I mean, uh, being here with the team that you have and uh, going out and helping people, there's just no other better feeling in the world. We said, hey, if Lorenzo can't go work out, then come to the firehouse. We'll work you out. If Bruce Allen's going to stop you in the lobby. You ready, Zoe? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. You're not going to get stopped at this lobby. And you can come in and you can work out with us. Little taste of it. Today is going to be a rough day on you guys. This tab? Yep. This tab? I'm going to clip it in. We're going to put you through it. I'm going to do this. Here's what I want you to do. That's cool, though. This is our everyday routine. I really don't know what to expect. I'm a rookie in all this. You know, my locker's on the outside. I don't even have a bunk yet. <laughs> when you're out on the football field, you've got all you can get. you got right. all that air. This is going to be a little bit more confined. There we go. You got air, right? Yep. Tools above your head. Good job, Frank. You got to go up and down set of steps equivalent to about a four-story building. All right, let's go. Then he has to crawl under tables like a roof collapse is happening. Then he goes back down the steps. As we come around to the dip bar, I'm simulating falling through the floor, but holding yourself up till somebody can come and save you. Hold it there. Let's go, Zo. Hold yourself up. Let's go. Hey, Zo. Hey, Zo. Hey, Zo. You know what that's like? It's like a two-minute drill in the fourth quarter. And the offense is coming out like a paid man and just running, running, running. It's the same thing. Got that adrenaline puffing. You're trying to save somebody's life. Got 80 pounds of gear on you. Got to crawl. Got to climb. Got to save your own life at times. Great tempo, Kev. Really picked up the tempo on that second one on me. I'm trying to keep up with him. <laughs> you got to do one lap. Well, I'll do one, but I'm going to put it on. Let's go. Look at Dave Ross. He's already doing it wrong. You look like Chunk from the Goonies. First day guy. <sighs> Gee, many Christmas. You better stick to the news. I thought the Marine Corps was tough. All right, here we go. This has got to be the tough part for these guys. Right, this is, you know, this is real life. You have to get out here and, and administer as much support as possible. The things that you see on a day-to-day -day basis is hard, but it's real life. And that's why we have these people in place so they can help serve the community. We'll clear the scene ready. Go warm my lunch up. This is only half way. That's all I need, baby. I'm good. You don't want to try for another 25? I think he's going up. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Okay. Just all of us have been doing it for a while. I mean, I can't. I, I'm going to get lost in the 3-4. Right. You know? <laughs> That's something, right? That's a workout right there. It's your turn there, Dave Ross. <laughs> You're all in the camera. <laughs> Bloopers. So, thank you very much for coming out, man. I appreciate you. Thank it's a you. good time. Fun. Well, that's right. You can right. invite it back anytime, all right? All right, I appreciate anytime. it. Anytime. Cool, all right. cool. All right, I'll see you later. All right, Zoe. So.